Welcome to Soft Review. In this video, I just want to show you my latest Chrome extension. This is a text to speech Chrome extension that will allow you to directly access 11 Lab Voices, Hume Voices, and Straco, which includes OpenAI and 11 Lab Voices again. You can directly convert the text from any website speech so that you can hear the AI read out the text content for you while you are relaxing it will improve your productivity you can hear that in the background and do something else without wasting your time it has got a lot of use cases so this is one of the best voices that you will ever hear we are using free api key that we get from 11 labs and hume so this will give you like 10 minutes of free voice both from 11 labs so you get 20 minutes of voice for free and these are all high quality voices so you can switch between different providers and you also get some free voices from straco as well i hope this will be really useful for you and you can even download and convert your text to voice instantly from this chrome extension let me show you how to use this in order to use this you just click on add to your chrome button and click on the add extension button that will add your chrome extension here click on this puzzle icon and find the extension this is the extension speak the selection that's the name and click on the pin icon here okay so that it's always visible at the top before we get started let me go to my website here in order to show you we need the api key which we can get by clicking on this link it will take you directly to the page once you are here in the 11 labs you can just click on this your name here and then you can click on the api key so let me just show you how to create the api key just click on create the api key you can give it any name if you want to give unrestricted access you can just toggle this off if you want to restrict access the api key then you can toggle this on you can select text to speech because that's what we need and then you can give access to voice so that we can get all the voice and you can also give access to uh, user so that we can get the balance as well so just click on create once we have all these three access just copy to the clipboard and just paste your 11 lab api key just like that and just click on save if everything is done correctly you will see the remaining credits here the next thing that you need to do now is to click on this refresh voice button that will refresh all the available voice so that we can select any voice that we want so as you can see you get a lot of different voices american british italian so choose the one that you like let's select this asmr voice just to show you so i have selected this voice don't forget to click on this refresh button otherwise it will not work so that's the two things that you need to do before you can hear the voice you can also play with the playback speed stability similarity boost style exaggeration just toggle this based on your requirements so if you keep it to default it will work perfectly fine as well so let's just copy this so if you are not seeing the player just click on the refresh button yeah you just need to copy the text and so as soon as you copy you will see this player let's click on play button and to verify current status or get started with the api see anthropics official update page see we have different options here if you uh, do not want word highlighter you can disable it from here and if you don't want the play button also you can disable it here so when i copy the next time i will not see that play button here so you might be wondering how will i play that it's easy you just right click and as you can see you can see this button read aloud and you can also see the words character and the duration I just click on this button and it will show you like a to verify audience. current status or get started with the API. And you can also also control that playback from the Chrome native player. You will see this icon where you can play back or you can just toggle to the front and back. You can also play to actual playback as well. So you have this option if you want to like a more clean approach, then you can use this. You just need to refresh this again. So I like the keyword highlighting because so that I can see where exactly it's uh, reading the content from and the floating button can also be helpful if you need like more control. Let me show you what I mean by that. So if I just click on the player, if I, just, I can just pause it here right away 
and i can also use the seek bar to actually point where i want the play to continue and you can also like change the volume and the playback speed as well let me show you how all of this works we also contrast so you can decide when the one and window is and practical workflows for coding research and agentic tasks we'll also contrast strengths and trade-offs so you see as you can see i can adjust and if you click on this button and that will reset the playback speed for you if you moved it up and it's 2x the speed and if you want to slow it down to normal speed you just click on this button that will reset the speed for you so that's what this does and the player the player can be also like placed anywhere that you want you just drop it where you want and if you don't want it you can just cross by clicking on this cross button as well so this will only be active when there is actual voice playback happening otherwise you will not see this that's the main major settings that you need to know before you start working with this and now let's click on hume and just click on the button in order to get the api key and here you just click this api key button and just click on copy this and now you can paste your api key here and just click on save and the api key is now saved and as usual you just need to click on the refresh voice that will load all the different voices that's available with you so let's select the medieval peasant woman voice let's see how that sounds like so let me just copy this like this and let me just play it attribution when summarizing large corpora preserve citations and reflect uncertainty so as you can see the sound is really great right so these are all like high quality voices from hue and and it's the same how it works so let's now move to the straco provider I just click on this link and it will directly take you to your platform and just click on login if you already don't have an account just sign up or if you have an account just sign in with your details and click on this icon profile icon click on user settings then click on api key settings if you already don't have an api key just click create an api key and i already have an api key so i'm just copying the text here and if i just paste the api key like that and if i click on save i can see the balance coins here and i can also click on refresh voice here it loaded like six open ai voices and we also have a lot of 11 lab voices as well as you can see we have around 30 voices these are all available high quality voices so in here i will show you the open ai voice uh, let's see let's select this and let me just select some text here see you can also see the brand name the provider name here itself so that you can verify you are using the correct provider so i'm just clicking on play here let me just refresh it prompts up to 200k tokens three dollars per million input tokens fifteen dollars per million output tokens prompts up to 200k tokens three dollars dollars per million input tokens so that's how it works as you can see it's really easy and you can also copy a text and also use the text to audio section here you can just paste that text that you want to convert to audio and you can also see the character count and word count and the time that will take you to read out the duration and just click on convert and download It will download the voice for you on your system. So let's just prompts up to 200k tokens, three dollars per million input tokens, fifteen dollars per million output tokens. So as you can see, it's reading out that correctly, and that's the that's all the features that you get with this extension. This is absolutely free to use, and please, if you enjoy this extension, please come here to this extension page and give it like a review here. If you have more feature requests or uh, bugs, you can let me know by coming here and writing it. I hope you enjoy this extension.
much as much as i am enjoying it and i hope this can improve your productivity if you like this video please don't forget to share and subscribe and to share it with your friends with whom you think this will be beneficial again thank you for watching and have a great day click that thumb and join